hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm sunshine balogun so today this look i've created is my the updated way i wear my makeup every day because i love a good dark colored lipstick so instead of wearing a nude lipstick every day i just sort of marry a nude and a dark lip color all right so i already did my eyebrows off camera and i put a thin layer of concealer on my eyelid just so that it doesn't look as dark as it normally does and today i'm going to use this primer instead of my usual backup because I have dry skin but now my face is breaking out and I feel like because of the products I'm using it's kind of dry so this will help give me some moisture I'm going to start out with my eyes so I'm using this eyeshadow primer all over my lid so this is the palette I'm using for my eyes all the baked browns is by Joseph of colors and these usually are my favorite shades when it comes to transitioning not for this particular palette though like any palette as long as there's a reddish color a reddish brown color there's a brown one a dark brown one then I'm set for like a very neutral eye I'm gonna use the shade to sort of set my primer so I'm just passing it all over my lid and you need to know that this eyeshadow is very very pigmented very pigmented so a little goes a long way okay so now I'm going in with this um, dusty pink shade I'm going to use that in my crease usually I, tr I try to blend this transitioning shade into the tip of my eyebrows the beginning part of it this part just so it sort of blends out the harshness of the contour So now I'm going to go into my crease with this brownish shade, reddish brown shade, right here. I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. I'm doing the same for this other side. So now, with a tapered brush, I'm going to go into the dark brown and use that to sort of give this eye a bit more depth. It's not going to look too smoky though, but just enough. I'm just going to go back into the transitioning shade and blend everything. So because this is a very soft look, on my eyelid, I'm, I'm going to actually use a matte shade. This shade I set it out with. So I'm just going to pack that into my eyelids. Well, just a little of this and yeah, my eyes are popping. I'm going to use this dark pencil from a waterline. So this is the eyeliner I'm using. It's I think this is L'Oreal. Yeah, it's called the Liquor Liner. So I'm going to do it on my top lash line. I'll create a very little wing, and I'm using this Elf brush. So now this, I'm going to use this falsies. These are Angel Lash Demi Whispies. Okay, so now I've gotten my lashes in. I'm using this foundation from Makeup Forever. My shade is Y505. It's the HD foundation. I just started using it and I love it. It's very lightweight. I'm 
I'm going to use the, this blending sponge to blend it into my skin properly. I still get a lot of people asking me if they should use a damp. Yes, you should. It just works a lot better, especially if you're working with liquid foundation, if you wet it. Alright, so I'm going to highlight under my eyes with um, the LA Girl Concealer, it's, I'm using the shade Plum. So I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead, and a little on the bridge of my nose. Lightly contour it dark cocoa for my little girl too. I'm just contouring very lightly because my cheekbones are already pronounced, but hey, everybody's doing it. set my highlight with benai i usually use clay because i find that the banana powder is too light for me clay is more natural on my skin so now i'm dusting up the setting powder my nose highlight a lot a lot longer just so that it pops more okay. for my whole face I'm using this um, I'm using powders from this palette um, it's called the Mojave powder palette it's from it's also from Benai so usually I use this two shades this one here and this one here this two yeah blush I'm going to use this blush for, it's from Mac I can't remember the name right now I'm using this shade but I'm gonna put the name in the description box so, because for my everyday look I usually don't use so much blush just a hint of it is enough I like some Dusting up the nose highlight. I'm going to use this um, golden brown shade from the glow kit for my highlight, my cheek highlight, my nose highlight, and my brow bone highlight. Okay, I'm gonna add some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using this 
two lipsticks the darker one is from Huda and it's called African Sauce and the lighter one is called Chi from Colourpop This is such a beautiful brown with a hint of grey coloured lipstick right in the middle now I'm gonna set the whole of my face with this spray because like I said I have oily skin so I'm not about the fix plus life this for me is my setting spray mm. <laughs> so this is the finished look it's still very soft but because of the lipstick it has like more of a kick than a nude nude look so if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and share because of course there's love in sharing remember to subscribe thank you bye